Welcome to another short video from Preact, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can set up Microsoft Teams dialer features within Dynamics, how we can possibly record these if needed, and then we can analyze these call reports and call summaries using conversation intelligence. Just going to start by showing you how we set the two features up and then how we get into conversation intelligence to see the reports. So the first part of this um, two-stage process is to set up and configure Microsoft Teams within Dynamics. Um, you can see I'm just in Sales Hub, App Settings, and over here on the left-hand side we've got Teams Calls. Um, this is only a preview feature um, currently, and as you can see, it doesn't allow you to do emergency calling when obviously in preview. Um, once you've set this up, it's, it's a case of coming in here and just saying, okay, we want to enable Teams Calling. So we set the toggle to on, and then obviously you can see down here, we can specify are there specific security roles that are allowed to do Teams calling? And within those roles, are these specific to certain um, apps that we've got configured as well? So you can see in this scenario, I've said any security role, customer service hub, sales hub and field service can use this Teams calling feature. Down here, we've then also said, you know, we want to record in the real tra time trans descriptions basically and this is for the conversation intelligence which we'll come on to so this needs to be turned on if we want to record those and see the transcript and the call summary against the phone call um, so that's the first part we need to set up teams dialer second part is conversation intelligence so again in sales hub sales insight settings at the bottom you can see global settings and then in here we've got conversation intelligence um, obviously you can see it's enabled so my call teams calls recordings is enabled so I've already set this up um, first time you come in here you obviously need to turn it on again flick the toggle to on specify again which security roles they're specific ones or if it's all security roles then you've got a few options in here as well around how you do the recording so do we want the user to manually click record when it pops up do we want it to automatically start recording I've set mine to be an automatic and you can see obviously down here Allow sellers to manually stop the recording is another option. Do I want to make Teams alert the person we're having a call with to say that the call recording has begun? So you can see yes or no to this. I've turned this off because I find it's it, it's, it's quite loud. Um, but again, it's if you need to notify them that the call's been recorded, you can just set this feature to be on. Um, so once we've set up the Teams call in recording details we want to configure, you can specify where you want then the call recording storage to go. I've just said, you know, Microsoft provided storage in this scenario. You can set it up to go to your own Azure Blob storage if you need to. Conversation tracking. Um, you can see I've set this up to track certain competitors. So you can see I've set some keywords in here. So it's one of our products, one of our competitors against just dummy data, and a few other competitors in here as well, and some keywords. Again, I'll come on to why this is relevant. Obviously, if any of those clients or so agents that are calling out and mention any of these things as well we pick up on all these words and we can analyze these later on um, obviously you know allow read access rights to the data license usage you can see in here it's telling me I've got three hours of call left this month so conversation intelligence um, that you get with your sales enterprise licenses now allows you to have three hours of call recordings per month if you find that's not enough, you can go up to sales premium license, which will give you 10 hours of call recordings a month. Um, and then again, just an option to say, let me know about new and up and coming features. You can tick this. So that being said, we've got Teams calling set up and we've got conversation intelligence, which I'll come on to, you know, once we've done our recording, how we can then see this in the grand scheme of things. So now let's just look at a, a lead over here. You can see because I've enabled this feature to be on Sales Hub, you can see I'm just on a lead record here and I've got the phone option here. So this will work on any field that you've enabled for being a phone field. And it's as simple as you can see, I just click the phone here. This will dial out. If you don't want to dial out from here, you do have the ability on the right hand side of here once this is turned on just to physically start typing in the number and ring the individual. Um, but for now, I'm just going to show you how quick and easy it is just by clicking on the phone option here. This will now ring the client. So you can see once the client then answers, 
because I've got that option turned on to say um, allow the agent to stop the recording, you can see here you've got the pause and stop option. Um, I obviously enabled recording from automatically when the phone call connects. If I didn't, then there'd be an option here to say start recording. And obviously, again, if you turned on the feature to say enable, you know, the ability for the person to let them know that we're recording the call, then you'll just hear that on the call. Um, but everything I'm doing now, you can see, is coming through in this transcript over here. Um, obviously, you can see we've got notes and details in here. We can see the details. This is linked to this lead. So equally, you know, if an inbound call came in and it recognized the number, it would automatically connect it to the existing record with the matching phone number as well. So I'm just going to hang this up. See the call's finished now. You can say full summary. So we just do full summary here. That will then take us into the record, but I've just got one here that I created earlier. So once we've done this, you can see the, the normal phone call record gets added to Dynamics. And you can see you get this additional call summary tab over here. So the call summary tab in this scenario is, you know, this was the phone call. This was how long we was on the call for. It was the call from. So this is obviously, you know, the, the client, uh, sorry, the um, agent in this scenario. That was the number we called. If I click on notes, you can see you can copy these to clipboard if needed. Um, this is just pulling out basically the details from the transcript. You can see over here the call highlights. So if you want to add something into the note here, you can simply just go through, see all the details. Click add and it will add that into here and then you can save this. So you've got this in your clipboard if you need to do something with this. Um, we've got a few action items that come off the back of this call as well. So you can see on this call we mentioned that calendar invite, send that calendar over, invite over immediately we mentioned. So, so you can see over here on the right hand side, this is the transcript. Anything in bold is a key word or a competitor, you know the ones we set up earlier. Um, you can see here is quite a few of these, but because they've mentioned I'll send that calendar invite over immediately, it's, it's, it's coming as an action. From here, we can obviously then create a task, open an email. Looks like we've got another action over here as well. So he said, we'll get one of the pre-sales guys to get involved. So again, we can set a date and we can set a task against this if we need to. So it's, it's quite useful. And then obviously on the highlights tab over here, it's going to tell us what brands were mentioned on this call. Again, you can see it's picking out the keywords from here. We've mentioned Charity Hub twice. We've mentioned Guys five times, June, Charity Log Dynamics three times, and a few of these packs and licenses as well. So it's pulling out the keywords and it's, it's, it's tracking those in here, what was mentioned on this individual call. So we've got the Team Styler feature enabled so we can ring out. This will automatically record the phone call if needed, and it will store the call summary and transcript against this in Dynamics immediately on this timeline. So we can see that against the individual record this was regarding. But now if we flick over here to um, conversation intelligence, we can see how this matches up against all call recordings over a period of time. So you can see this is in real time. This phone call recording has automatically been uploaded. Um, I'll put it into Microsoft Cloud Storage. And you can see then we can log into this panel called conversation um, insights intelligence you can see when we come in here we've got home team overview seller detail system monitoring and i'm just on the home screen here logged in as fiona so you can see um you know what period it is actual revenue deals one based on this average revenue you can sort over here based on custom date ranges or last seven days 30 days whatever i'm just looking all time and if we scroll down we can see customer sentiment so typically 90 percent of these are quite neutral a um, few of these are quite 9% positive, and there's obviously 1% negative in there. You see over here, two calls have been actually high and negative customer sentiment and average. If I click show details, it will show me those two calls, and we can see the calls down here. Again, we can click into any one of these calls, and we can see the keywords and the actions and, and the actual transcript of said call as well. Tracked keywords. Again, you can see top trend in tracked keywords, cost and support. It's up 17%. Click show details. Again, you can see cost is mentioned quite, well, not as much as cost, cost is mentioned quite a bit. Um, and obviously, again, you can see those those calls that we've pulled in from that, which is obviously contributing towards these. So you can see, hopefully it's, it's quite useful and you can physically start seeing some trends, you know, based on call analysis, um, recording time. This is obviously the grand sort of overview of everything. If I click over here and click team overview, 
This will show me based on my team's insights, so based on all of my users. In this scenario, we've got Mark and Fiona. Uh, Mark appears to talk most out of the two. Has a lower talking speed, on average 203 words a minute. Again, you can see down here, Fiona typically listens for 57% of the time, talks 43, as opposed to Mark, who tends to do more talking. Um, we go over here and go to seller's details. This is where you can then just drill into an individual as well. So if I pick Fiona or Mark here in this scenario, you can see a few more analytics around the individuals, customer sentiment over time. And again, down here, these are all the contributing phone calls that have made up, you know, these analytics we're seeing at the top here. And then you've got system monitoring over here, and this will take you to the exact blob storage where it's stored, how many have been completed, in progress, failed. Again, it's just really useful to be able to manage, you know, a click of a button, we're going to talk with a client, we're going to record the call, and we can come in here at any one time, and we can look at these reports. We can export these to Excel as well if we need to in some of these different areas. So hopefully you can see how Teams, Dialer, and Conversation Intelligence might work for your organization. Conversation intelligence you now get for free if you've already got sales enterprise licenses, which if you're already using Sales Hub, you will have. Um, and obviously the Teams dialer, there are a few prerequisites that you, you need. Obviously a Teams add-on license, which again, most of the um, office packages will come with. And obviously you need to have phone system installed um, or have a phone system plan set up in, you know, for Teams. Um, but again, we can, we can help and assist you with you know, what you need to get this set up. So if you did like what you see today, we'd like to talk more about Teams Dialer or Conversation Intelligence, please get in touch with us if you've got any further questions regarding this. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Preact's YouTube channel in the future to see more videos. Thank you.